Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Lord came walking by, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. I'm going to your house today. Have you heard that song before? It's our Bible story for this week. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And in Bible times, tax collectors cheated and took extra money from people who were paying their taxes. Nobody liked tax collectors. But Zacchaeus wanted to see the Lord, but he couldn't. He was too short, a wee little man. And so what did he do? Nobody wanted to let him up front, so he climbed up in a sycamore tree. Have you seen the sycamore trees that grow around our parking lot at church? I picked up a sycamore ball the other day. Do you recognize it? Anyway, when Zacchaeus climbed up in the tree and the Lord came walking by and looked up in the tree, Jesus said, Zacchaeus, I bet Zacchaeus was surprised that Jesus knew his name. Maybe he felt kind of special. And that was unusual for Zacchaeus. Then something more surprising happened. Jesus said, I'm going to your house today. I'm going to your house today. Jesus and Zacchaeus in the sycamore tree that you can color. And you can finish a drawing of the tree and draw Jesus and Zacchaeus on another page. Even though the song is finished, the story of Zacchaeus continues. It's not finished in our Bible. It tells what happened next, which is also very surprising. Just like the other stories about Jesus, this story also guides us. That's our faith word for this week. To connect to God. So, before I read the rest of the story in the Bible, will you pray with me? Lord God, thank you for the Bible stories that tell us more about you. Please guide us as we learn this story. Amen. Remember that Zacchaeus was a tax collector, and no one liked tax collectors. Even the leaders in the church in those Bible times thought it was bad to be friends with a tax collector. So people were so surprised that Jesus wanted to go to Zacchaeus' house. They even got mad about it. Listen to our story. This is from Luke's book, chapter 19. A tax collector named Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus walk through his town. He was too short to see over the big crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a tree. There he could see Jesus coming down the road. When Jesus got to the tree, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to stay at your home. Zacchaeus climbed down the tree, happy to welcome Jesus to his home. That part we already know about, right? This is the part that is not in our song. But the crowd was very unhappy with Jesus for spending time with a tax collector. They grumbled because tax collectors were known for being unfair. Zacchaeus heard what the crowd was saying. He looked at Jesus 
and made this promise, Lord, I will give half of everything I own to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody, I will repay them four times what I have taken. Jesus knew Zacchaeus meant what he said. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you have been saved. If you were in the crowd, would you be mad that Jesus chose Zacchaeus to visit? What did Zacchaeus promise to do when he heard others complaining that Jesus was going to his house? How do you think Zacchaeus felt when Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you have been saved. I wanted to share this activity that I made, and you can make it at home too. I'm going to show you how. I got a paper plate, and I got a little twig with some leaves on it for a tree, and I drew a little picture of Zacchaeus climbing up the tree, and I can make him climb down without touching the drawing of him. There he goes. He's going down to the bottom of the tree now. Now he is at the bottom of the tree. So if you would like to make this activity so that Zacchaeus can climb up the tree and down the tree, I will show you how. You will need a sturdy paper plate some scissors to cut the string or ribbon, um, a pencil, a paper hole punch, maybe some tape or glue, so a stiff piece of paper, and this index card is a good, good stiff piece of paper for drawing Zacchaeus. So first you're going to cut some hole, or first you're going to draw Zacchaeus on this card. And you're just going to cut this card and just snip off about this much. And cut all the way across so that you can punch a hole in the top and bottom and draw a picture of Zacchaeus. Then you're going to string the ribbon or twine through the two holes in the drawing that you make. And then you're going to punch a hole at the bottom of the paper plate. You only need one. You see my mistake there. I made two holes. And also at the top of the paper plate. You can't see it because there's... A leaf in the way but there's another hole and the ends of the twine go in those holes and here's the secret in the back you tie them together then you can pull the string up and down to make Zacchaeus climb up and down you don't have to use a, a twig like I did with leaves you can make your own leaves with some green paper or color some paper green and tape them or glue them on. You could use an ice cream stick or just draw a brown trunk of a tree on the paper. I had fun today making the activity and it helps me to think about our Bible story about Zacchaeus. I think Jesus was guiding me to remember how Jesus forgives others. And since I want to follow Jesus, I need to try to forgive others too. What about you? How was God guiding you as you learned this story about Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus. How do you think it feels to forgive someone? Does it feel like a smile? 
And now, dear boys and girls, will you receive this blessing from me? Colin, Elin, Ford, Haley, Malachi, Petra, Piper, Quinn, and Will. May God always guide you. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next time.